Welcome to another episode of Into the Music. And my name is Greg. That guy over there is Chris. And Chris, how do you like my little drum roll, huh? Not bad, right? It's beautiful, yeah. man. You've been taking lessons? <laughs> yeah, table tapping lessons, yeah. Yeah, maybe you'll get a drum kit rather than, you know, a desk. Hey, what do you got, man? This is a request from Arthur Walwill through our Kofi site. And, hey, Arthur. And, uh, yeah, we've done his uh, request before. Yeah. And, um the name of the group is uh, First Aid Kit, which is indispensable. And um, the name of the song is Emmy Lou. Yeah, don't know the name. Yeah, I was the guessing, band. I would have guessed you didn't. Don't know the, name, the band name, um, Emmy Lou Harris. Are they singing about Emmy Lou Harris? Well, when I looked at it first, I thought, well, was it Emmy Lou Harris? And the name of the song is First Aid Kit. But right, it could have been. Kit yeah, being right. Emmy Lou. Okay. But they I could know. be singing about Emmy Lou Harris being their favorite. Anyway, all right. Let me go back. Is that the only Emmy Lou we know? That's the only Emmy Lou we know about, I think. Emmy Lou. Yeah, that's the only one I know. And uh, let me go and check it out. Hopefully, I won't need a first aid kit. And, you know, while listening to it. Too. No, I'm not asking much of you. 
much of you just sit little darling sing with me I'll be your Emmy Lou and I'll be your Judith you'll be my Graham and my Johnny too First Aid Kit, helt magiskt. Vad tyckte ni publiken på torget? Hey, I'm back. Yeah, did not need a first aid kit. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a sweet song, you know? Lovely yeah. voices, man. Pretty. I have to agree. I have to agree with you on that. Uh, they could both sing. And the harmonizing mm-hmm. together were, was very nice. Um, yeah. And it was just a sweet song, you know? And I say that. Yeah. With all, you know, um, happiness and sincerity, like, you know, like nothing like, you know, it's a sweet song. It was a sweet song. You know, it was really nice. Um, mm-hmm. You know, the acoustic, love acoustic playing. It was, um, there was a guy behind them who was kind of doing, I think, the keys, whatever, just yeah. something very sort of subtle. That was, that was, yeah, that was really, um, yeah, that was really just. You know, he's just playing chords that you know could yeah. I, I, like 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 that could have that stood in maybe for like could have been strings, just playing that chord those yeah those those, those chords throughout, no flourishes or anything. No, just, just had a little weight chords, a little yeah. backbone. Yeah. Although if even if they did yes, but if even if they didn't have that and it was just the two guitars, it it would have sounded great too. Absolutely, good point. Yeah, totally yeah. agree. Now this um, is a um because this is a live version. I I don't know what the studio uh version sounds like um i would imagine it's pretty close though oh yeah although um, rolling stone magazine chose this song this song emmy lou as the number 10 single of the year for 2012 so that wasn't even just it. wow their um first aid kid is two sisters uh and they're from sweden okay so this is rolling stone this isn't just like you know on the swedish charts or anything it's a uh, number 10 of the song single of the year wow that's pretty good you know that's really good and um so um they're from sweden wow. yeah and their names are um i don't know if it's johanna or johanna i'm gonna say johanna johanna and clara soderberg okay yeah and um so this song I- i'll have you talk more about it after i mentioned just a little some yeah but i'm just amazed by that I would have pegged them from like being from like in the South here in the United States, so well, like Georgia uh, or, you know, just wow. You know, because right. they had that Southern, that country, Western sort yeah. of, they were schooled. Their voices kind of like right. s- sounded very much like Right. That. And and just that the fact, just the fact that they, they did it in English, you know, I don't know if they have a Swedish version also, but um, yeah, you know, also though, the, um, you know, they, they definitely, they had that, uh, American folk sound, you know, I don't know what Swedish folk music sounds like. It's probably, there's probably some similarities because, yeah, yeah. because American folk music take, you know, came down from other countries. Right. Yeah. Um, but um, it definitely, you could easily say, Hey, these people sound like, you know, they're from the, the you know, the American South or something like that, you know, yeah. Or, or at least they're doing music that sounds like that, like Americana kind of folk music. And, but, but the, um, what it's about, I don't know if you recognize any of the names, definitely Emmy Lou. You mentioned Emmy Lou Harris. Um, she, uh, this does refer to Emmy Lou Harris. Oh, wow, okay. uh, the words are, uh, where it talks about them, it says, I'll be your Emmy Lou and I'll be your June. Guess who June is? June Carter Cash. Right. Remember we saw her in Johnny Cash? Yes. Right? Yes. At, uh, in Oyster Bay, right? In Oyster Bay, right? Yeah. Okay. And um, and it also says if you'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be your Emmy Lou, and I'll be your June. If you'll be my Graham and my Johnny too. So oh, you know who yeah. they are. Graham Parsons and Graham Parsons. All right. And, right. Um, Johnny Cash. And Johnny Cash, of course. Yeah. So the way they did this. Uh, 
Wow. The, the style of music, I don't know what their other stuff sounds like. I, I think it's it's also folk stuff, but but this definitely, the style of this song definitely matches the subject matter. You know, at least the yeah. people are talking about. Yeah. It. And it's basically about, you know, how great it is to sing with another person and make that make that connection. You, you know? Yeah. And um, yeah. Uh, she said, you know, the part of the lyrics are, <clears throat> no, I'm not asking much of you. Just sing, just, little darling. Sing. Just sing, little darling. I wrote those. So, I wrote those oh, two yeah, lines yeah. down. Okay. How funny! Okay. You actually—that's pretty cool, man. That that jumped out at you. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't yeah. wait to say those two lines. That's awesome. Yeah. I want to hear what else these these two do. They just do it. It's almost like it seems like they. I'm sure they worked their asses off to get this good, but they. It seems like almost they, like they were born with this. You know, it was just so yeah. flawless. And the harmonizing, yeah. of course. Harmonizing is an amazing thing. It, it just is to me. Well, you stole my thunder uh, with saying those two lines. You like them, then. That's good because we connected on that. And that was um, both of us paying attention and being sort of swept up in the same kind of like real, like what I guess they were really intending. It sounds like almost like it was, it's also um, like a homage too, like, you know, to these people that they're bringing into the song. So I know like what the, what, what the song is, is about. But also uh, bringing yeah, in yeah, those yeah, names, yeah. you know, that must be like these people probably that as they grew up, you know, they were sort of idolizing, you know, um, the fact that they're singers. Um, and again, I'm just blown it's away cool that, that they idolize these these people who um, they're great. Um, what were born probably yeah around you know sometime in the 1940s. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, this song made me so happy, man. So it was really good to listen. Author, really good request. Thank yeah, you. It was a good one. Yeah. I'm going to take us out. All right. Say, Chris, you have a good rest of the day. You too. Uh, author, thanks again. And to everyone out there who watched this, uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. That'd be pretty cool. If you haven't subbed yet, um, jump on board. You know, it'd be nice. One big growing into the music family. And we'll see everyone on the next episode of Into the Music. See you.